month is changing. We're going to do, um, and this, there's one piece of this that's written, that's not written down, so you'll want to make a note of this. Um, we're going to start with the top leg. So we've been doing um, just the inner thigh lift, but now we're going to add in the top leg. Here's the hand. Make sure that when you're doing this, your belly area and your waist are engaged and drawn into you. A lot of times I'll see the belly draw forward even if the hips are stacked and all this is relaxed as if it wasn't um, part of the picture. But this engagement is part of the picture. The waist engaged into you. If I let my waist go, my hip will uh, rock up toward my shoulder and my waist won't be equally long on both sides from armpit to hip. But you want that. You want good positioning, good technique. And then from there, the toes are, are pointed on both the bottom leg and the top leg. And it, okay, we're going to stop with, start with the bottom leg. So the top, top leg comes here, and we'll do the bottom leg inner thigh lift. We're going to go four, three, two, one. And then the bottom leg will circle around. Make sure that the bottom leg circles in front of the top leg and behind the top leg so the circle is centered right underneath the top leg. And we'll do four, three, two, one. So I went both directions. Now both legs hover. And then from there, the top, top leg lifts. And we'll go four, three, inhale as you lift, and one. And then the top leg circles four, and three, two and one again centering the circle over the bottom leg in the other direction two three and four and the release side two lifting the top leg up high enough to bring the bottom leg bring your abs into good waist engagement and bottom leg lifts four three two make sure not to rock around you're very steady and then circle four Three, make sure the circle goes behind the top leg and one and reverse one two really work on smoothing the circle out making it circular and then both legs up top leg lifts from there one two exhale three four and then breathe as you circle around exhale and one more and the other way, four, three, two, and one, and really. Next part, um, we're calling, I'm calling a, um, a toe ripple or peel. This one comes to us directly from Joel through Lolita. Um, it's a little tricky. I've been working on it since last October and it's better, but it's not perfect yet. Um, and I'm, I still find it extremely difficult. So if, again, if these were my toes, if my fingers were my toes, then I have my hand flat on the floor. The big toe, we're going to try to lift the big toe and then the neighbor and then the neighbor and then the neighbor all the way to the little toe. And then you replace first the big toe the next toe, the middle toe, the second to last toe, and the pinky toe. Twice peeling up from the big toe and then placing down from the big toe. The idea is that we can eventually move the toes uh, one by one. And I do know people who can do this, so I know it is technically possible. But who knows how far we'll get. So I usually give it a try. We're going to do it twice from the big toe to the little toe, big toe landing into the little toe, and then we'll reverse starting with the little toe. So the first time I go ahead and give it a try. My big toe lifts, then I try to peel up the next toe. Generally those two toes for me go at the same time, and then my second to last toe and my little toe, placing the big toe down, next, this is the hard part for me, next toe down, then the toe next to it, the second to last toe, and the pinky toe. Again, rippling up from the big toe and down from the, the big toe. One of the things I would like us to work towards is that the ripple is a fair 
particularly extended toe ripple, so the toes are still reaching out from the body rather than curling the toes down as if you were in fact playing the piano or grabbing onto a pencil with your toes. Um, so the first time I generally do as best as I can with my toes, and then the second time I am allowing my hand to assist a little bit. So this toe likes to lift with this toe, so I'll just gently hold that toe down while I lift the next toe and get them going. Now on the way down, I suggest to the big toe it goes. This toe sometimes is just, mm, it doesn't want to move, it's like I don't know how to move by myself, so I'll gently ask it to go and then the, toe, the rest of the toes will follow. And the reason that, again, big toe down and then big toe up. The reason I'm allowing my fingers to help a little bit, I'm not forcing, I'm not hurting, is because of just what we talked about. Sometimes we need an assist to activate muscles. So you can think of yourself, you know, this is your, you are your physical therapist for your toe rehabilitation, okay? And then we'll start with the little toe. So again, I'm gonna ask the little toe to lift, it's trying, and then the neighbor, and then the neighbor, and then the big toe. If you need to do the hand showing the toes what to do, I do that all the time. Then the little toe starts down, and again, the second time, I allow my fingers to give my toes a little bit of an assist, okay? And then the second foot, starting with the big toe, Two times big toe starting, both feet. Two times little toe starting, both feet. And I personally could not do this with both feet at the same time. Gentle toe stretch, uh, I call this gentle toe stretch fashion massage. Again, do not pull on the knuckles. Um, this is just to help us, because we've been working on shins lengthening, calves lengthening, top of the feet, plantar muscles, I mean fascia lengthening. Um, so we're going to work on the toes lengthening. Some of us have a little bit crumplier toes or hammer toe um, issues or developing or calluses. So all you're going to do is take your opposite hand and you're going to gently grab the tissue, not pulling on, no cracking the knuckles, and just stretch the tissue out from the base to the tip toe. And I do top to bottom first and then I go side to side. And for each set of toes, top to bottom and side to side. Top to bottom and side to side. Top to bottom, side to side. Top to bottom. So very gentle. And you don't want to do it so gentle that you can't feel it. You want to get into the tissue. It's like, again, um, my analogy was a Thai massage, drawing and extending. So big toe, um, top to bottom. And then when you do side to side, it's easy get into the right down into the base of the big toe and when toes are starting to be closer together if we have cross toe issues it's harder to get side to side but do the best you can some people have very wet toes and so that might create a little impediment but just get where you can do the best you can lengthening the muscles and the fascia in the toes not straining or pulling no knuckle cracking. All right, so that's everything. Thank you very much.